Hi, my name is Cristian Dumitrescu and I teach in the Philippines uh, Missiology and uh, Intercultural Studies. Welcome to uh, the fun we had with the seminar on discipleship in Asian contexts. Most of us, when we talk about discipleship, we have a certain model in mind. But when you move outside of the Western circles, you realize that it doesn't work. And um, you question yourself, is my strategy wrong? Is my uh, uh, method not good? But in the context there, you discover new things. And I'm going to talk a little bit about these new discoveries in the Asian context. A disciple is a follower. But how do people follow? Because you cannot expect everyone to simply do what you are telling them to do. People have a different way of understanding and speaking. The issue is that the logic of different people is different. People use a contextual logic depending on the languages that they are speaking. For example, in English we use a linear logic. We know we have argument one, two, and three, and subheadings under each of these, but they have to follow a certain linear flow. In most languages spoken in Asia and Africa, the language is contextual. People do not address issues directly, but they talk about the context. Um, imagine that you have to uh, discuss about sinners and sin and tell people that they are sinners in need of repentance. This is what we tell disciples over there. You cannot do it because people will feel ashamed. No one will come to become a member of a church, a Christian church, that is going to bring shame to him. Nobody wants to become a member of a church where he is seen as a, a shameful person. So how do you deal with it? Yes, this is the cultural background and uh, the context of the language, but you still need to go back to the Bible. And there you discover that the Bible was written in a contextual language, in a contextual culture, with a different logic than the Western one. So there are several values that impact uh, discipleship in Asian cultures. First is the community. People think themselves as part of a community, not as individuals. Their identity is given by the community. Well, when you talk about family, family is not just mother, father and children. The family is the extended family, all the relatives together. Sometimes a whole village is one family. And if you ask someone to become a disciple of Christ, to come out of their traditional religion, it will be very difficult for them because they lose their identity. Can you still make disciples in Asian context without making people lose their identity? The second major value is face. People keep their honor, value their honor. They will defend their honor at any cost. And they will do everything in order to save their face. Because this is the highest value in their um, value system, in their worldview, people will actually not listen to you if they will have to lose face. But you have to find ways to help them keep or preserve face and at the same time understand what they need to change in their lives. Yes, it is possible to become a disciple in Asia, in Asian context, without losing face. The third major value that impacts the discipleship process is conflict. How do you solve conflict? Most people coming from the West, they say we need to confront the issues, confront the people. But that is not going to bring people into your group. They are not going to follow Christ. However, there are ways, specific ways in the uh, local cultures that you need to learn in order to solve conflicts. And conflicts are unavoidable, but there are ways to do it. Most of those contextual cultures look for a mediator, a third party, another person with authority and who knows the parties involved in order to talk to them and restore, re reconcile them. And yes, it is possible to work in that environment using a different strategy that is appropriate for contextual cultures. And lastly, but not last, hierarchy. Once you step in an Asian culture, you realize that you, have a, you, you are placed on a certain position. You, there are expectations from you. Not only that, but you have to respect the local leaders because they are on the same scale of respect from people. 
hierarchy is part of the Asian culture and you need to learn how to treat it, how to respect it. Western values do not always match the Asian values. We need to learn how to deal with the local values and still create disciples for Christ. If you are interested, please join our seminar. Thank you.